What is going on guys? So just the other day I made a video of myself reacting to my basic training video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it up. But a lot of people are like, where are all the drill sergeants yelling? Like, what's going on? Like, do drill sergeants not yell at basic training anymore? Like, is this how it really is? And it brought up a pretty good topic and I kind of want to cover it in this video and that is how much do drill sergeants actually yell? All right, so first things first, if you guys are ever curious about the t-shirts that I'm wearing in my videos, I did want to mention because some people are like, oh yeah, that's a cool t-shirt, you know, where do you, where'd you get it? They're actually my t-shirts. These logos are my Matt Ward apparel shirts and stuff like that. Links will always be down in the description and cards and stuff like that. So if you're ever curious, me wearing like an army tee or something like that, that is what that is from. But let's talk about some drill sergeants yelling at basic training, oh my gosh, right? So this video that I did, that I reacted to is about an hour long, but I cut it all down to, I think it was like 30 something minutes or so. So I cut out a lot of the really boring parts because there wasn't that much action going on in the video. I mean, it is a really interesting video, I'm sure from like y'all's perspective to watch it and actually see like, hey, this is the obstacle course. Hey, this is the confidence course. This is kind of like what the buddy team live fire is gonna be at. I went to Fort Benning. So if you're going to Fort Benning and you watch that video, you're literally going to be watching some of the places that you're going to be at basic training and some of the stuff that you're going to be doing. But at the same time, this video was just showing a very, very, very few specific key parts about basic training. They didn't really show anything from Red Phase. They showed the obstacle course and the confidence course in my video. I wish they would have shown more in this video, but they showed just some major events, right? They didn't show the day-to-day -day life at basic training. They didn't show, you know, really one of the parts where the drill sergeant's gonna be yelling the most, and that is whenever you're trying to um, get in formation, you're trying to you know, figure out where people are at, and those are like, they're not really like high stress environments, but they can just kind of catch you, you know, tripped up on something, and somebody kind of wanders off for just a second, and they come at you and be like, hey, where's this person? And you're like, uh, I'm not sure, and then all of a sudden, you know, you have a lost person, a person, a lost soldier, whatever, you know, your weapon that they stole, you know, from you because you left it away. Like they didn't catch any of that stuff in the video. And because they only recorded like a few of like the events where honestly the majority of the events that you're gonna see in that video, if you go and watch it, those are just normal NCO instructors. A lot of the times in that video, they're not actually drill sergeants that are gonna be like talking to and yelling at the, the individual that you're gonna see in that video, which makes it really seem like there's really not much yelling going on at all. But in reality, how much do drill sergeants yell? Now honestly, it does get a little bit tricky here because it's gonna come down to the drill sergeant and the person individually, and then also like, how are you defining yelling? Is yelling just raising your voice? Well honestly, drill sergeants raise their voice a lot, but a lot of times people are thinking about drill sergeants yelling and they're thinking about them in the face of a private, just like right in their face and having that little shark attack moment where they're just all around a private yelling at him, telling him different things to do and he's just kind of stunned, doesn't know what to do. How often do things like that happen? Pretty much the first day of basic training and that's almost it. Drill sergeants definitely do raise their voice a lot. You know, they kind of yell at you when they're just talking to you, but that just becomes normal. Like they're just yelling at you because they're talking to you. It's not really more so how often do drill sergeants yell, but it's how often are drill sergeants like actually mad at the privates because they just totally royally screwed up. And maybe that happens like once a day, right? So once a day at basic training, you can expect for some drill sergeant somewhere to kind of just kind of flip out a little bit and just really like yell at you, really kind of smoke you a little bit worse and you might get smoked later in the day or whatever. But that's kind of what you can expect. Other than that, drill sergeants are going to be yelling, but they're not really like yelling at people. They're not really trying to get in people's faces. A lot of the time people see those videos from like the shark the shark attack, right? Um, that people see and they see drill sergeants in faces all the time. Pretty much for every branch of the military, whenever they cover those like highlight reels, cause that's really all it is. It's like a highlight reel showing you like how difficult basic training is. And it's kind of like a movie trailer for basic training. And you see a movie trailer and you're like, oh, that's awesome, that's crazy. And then you go and watch the movie and you're like, well, pretty much everything that was in the trailer was like the only good parts about the movie. 
that's kind of how these videos are, right? So if you watch these videos of like basic training highlights and they kind of just show the red face stuff and they show certain key points and there's like a whole bunch of yelling, it's kind of like a trailer, right? You're missing all of the parts in between where drill sergeants are coaching you, they're teaching you, they're teaching you how to be a soldier. They're teaching you how to shoot, right? They're teaching you sports. They're not yelling at you, trying to get you to figure out your weapon. A lot of times if you're just screwing up to them, they're just like, oh my gosh, this private is being so stupid right now. You know, th that's kind of how they are. They're going to teach you. They're not going to yell at you and, you know, beat your face like, which is like a military term, it's not like a whatever. Uh, they're, they're not going to do that, right? They're there to teach you. They're there to make you a good soldier. They're gonna break you down at the beginning and then they're gonna build you up. And during that build up, there's not gonna be as much yelling. And honestly, there's a lot of drill sergeants out there. There was some drill sergeants in my company that said, hey, like they were just like straight up, hey, I'm not gonna sit here and yell at you. They're like, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and get all mad and riled up because for some people, they feel like that's not as an effective way to actually make a soldier a good soldier. But at the same time, they'd be like, if you do piss me off, you will know, right? And that's totally, completely true. A lot of drill sergeants have, you know, they're up here at a eight or a nine, and then you get them to the 10, you know, and then you know they're mad, right? But it's kind of about the same as they are normally. Then you have other drill sergeants who are down here at like a three or a four on a normal basis. And they're like, hey, we're gonna be cool. We're gonna be chill. Just don't screw up. And when you do screw up, it's gonna be a bad day for you. That is kind of how I think, and from what I've seen, a lot of drill sergeants are. I don't know any statistics on anything or whatever. It's, you know, it's just judging people, right? But a lot of drill sergeants are going to be calm, and then whenever you get them all riled up and mad, that's whenever they're gonna yell. It's not all the time, right? So in that video that you guys have watched, might have watched, it's actually got a crap ton of views, way more than I thought I was gonna get. But if you did watch that video, those are like the times and events where drill sergeants are not really around. So the yelling that's gonna occur in that video is gonna be pretty much non-existent because in the majority of the video, drill sergeants aren't around. And I know there's gonna be some people out there who are like, oh my gosh, basic training is so easy now, the military is so soft, oh my gosh. And you know, I would say no, like because a lot of times those people are people who have been, were in a long time ago and they have that nostalgic look of the army and the military was just so ridiculously difficult on them and they look back on it fondly for all the horrors that they went through during basic training and, and whatever. And you know, yes, it's a little bit different, but at the same time, I think that they realize that it's a little bit more effective. It's a more effective way of teaching you to actually teach you and then punish you whenever you screw up rather than yell at you all the time and make everything miserable and then literally punch you in the face whenever you screw up because that's really honestly how it was like in the old, old days. My grandfather who was in the Navy literally got punched several times, right? By instructors because he was kind of like a rebellious person and you know, that's how he was back in the day. But like that was, they were definitely way, way more physical back then, but I don't think it necessarily means that we're soft because I don't want to get hit in the pit in the face by my instructor. So a key takeaway from this video that I want you all to keep in mind, kind of especially when you watch any army video that's like super hyped up, is kind of think of it as like a movie trailer. It's a movie trailer. It's got a bunch of cool stuff. It's got a bunch of things that are going to be in the movie, but it's not the entire movie and those are pretty much the highlights, right? That's how it is for a lot of movie trailers, you know, basic training videos, military videos, sometimes they're like that. I'm not gonna say every time they're like that, but sometimes they're like this. Sometimes they're like a little highlight reel and then you're gonna go to basic training and you're gonna expect to get yelled at 24 seven all the time and you're gonna expect to be shooting guns 24 seven all the time whenever you're in the military and it's not gonna be like that. Those are the cool parts, but that's not the whole story. So that is it for this video. If you wanted to wait till the end of the video to click off and get one of these t-shirts, you can do that now links down in the description down below but anyways if you enjoyed this video hit that like button that would be awesome if you want to check out some more of my videos hit that subscribe button and the notification bell button that would be even better notification bell button is where it is at today if you're not following me on instagram and snapchat social media links are right there i hope you all have an amazing freaking day and i will see you later